NBA on ESPN Sunday as we get set for tonight's game between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the San Antonio Spurs. As we get things started, Jeff, who on the Spurs do you think they need to keep an eye out for here tonight? Tim Duncan is understated great. Mike, he's just like you. You don't talk about how good you are at your job. You just are that good at your job. Tim Duncan is that every night. Do you ever remember Tim Duncan getting too high or too low? No, he's got that even keel demeanor that plays so well to his fan base, to his teammates, and to his coaches. Leonard fires away from downtown. This is his first shot. You know, with OKC, Westbrook and Durant, special players, but they need Serge Ibaka to really be a consistent force to win a title, don't they? At both ends of the floor, Mike, not just as a stretch four or as a rebounder, but they need him to absolutely be dominant defensively. Enos Cantor is an outstanding offensive player, but is limited defensively. This is where Ibaka is going to have to cover up for his partner and be great at the defensive end of the floor. Inside. That won't go. Duncan the rebound. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. to the reverse, and LaMarcus Aldridge with a two-pointer. Ibaka against Aldridge. You know, Jeff, it was a puzzling decision that the Thunder let go. Scott Brooks, the head coach who had so much success, but Billy Donovan, I know you know him well. He's a heck of a coach. He is, and he replaces a great coach in Scott Brooks. I think Billy is going to be a really good NBA head coach and is a great fit for this Oklahoma City team. Because when he's taken over for Scott Brooks, those are absolutely big shoes to fill. And he hits the first free throw. Throw shooting knocks down a pair. Everybody San Antonio's leading Oklahoma City by a score of six to two. Durant against Parker. Goes to the goal. He says no, but the ref says foul. Called against Parker. And Kevin Durant will go to the line. He's shooting 85% for the season. Look, you got to put yourself in position to be fouled if you're a good offensive player and a great free throw shooter. Take advantage of your strengths. Earn your way to the free throw line. Two for two at the line. Half a minute to go here in the first. It's a two-point game. Oh, excellent screen. To the basket, flips it up. And Tony Parker with the bucket. Westbrook against Parker. Throws it down. What a play. Four, two. It'll count if it goes. First quarter comes to an end. The Thunder down by two. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN Sunday after the break.
So first quarter complete, about to begin quarter number two. A little bit of a feeling out process. Well, you're right, Mike. You know, sometimes you don't get a real good grasp on how the game's going to go, but it was well played by both teams. Close competitive game. Duncan for two, shoots away. Tony Parker with a nice look. He's averaging 13 points per game this season. Westbrook set to bring it up. Jeff, Kevin Durant displays a lot of humility, but you know he feels he's the best player on the floor every time he steps on the court. And he should. That's what great players think. They think they put in so much time into their craft to hone it, to perfect it, that no one can stop them. And when it comes to scoring, there is not a better scorer in this league than Kevin Durant. He has earned the right to feel he's at the very top of his game offensively. Fires from three-point range. And LaMarcus Aldridge with the jumper. Puts it in. He's among the league leaders in scoring this season. Excellent balance. Beautiful release. Knocked it in. Westbrook against Parker. Goes for the three-pointer. Waiters, long-range jumper, won't go. Parker on the drive, won't go. Don't worry about the miss. Just keep creating quality shots. Eventually, they will go in. Jeff, I don't think there was any player looking forward to this season more than Kevin Durant after the injury play campaign he had last year. Oh, there's no question, Mike. He loves basketball, he loves competing, and he loves his teammates in Oklahoma City. And so, without Durant, I thought they performed well. With Durant, they have as good a roster as anybody in the NBA. Kevin Durant will have a big-time year if healthy. is the layup. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Duncan for two, puts it up, converts on the inside. That's a 10-0 run for the Spurs. from downtown. At the buzzer. And that'll do it. First half comes to an end. Oklahoma City's down by 12. And we're back at the Chesapeake Energy Arena for the second half, along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand. Oklahoma City's in a real struggle in the first half. Their shooting has been woeful, and their body language is not good right now. Well, when you have tough times in this league, you find out who you are. I'm very interested to see what this team looks like to start the second half. Number 12, Marcus Aldridge. Even though the Duran injury last year, Jeff, was so difficult for the Thunder, how about the play of Russell Westbrook? He was missed a triple-double one stretch of the season. Incredible year for Russell Westbrook. He, too, was injured. But when Westbrook came back, he was on absolute fire. He knew his team needed him to be great on a nightly basis, and he absolutely delivered. Weaves his way to the basket. That's good for two. 16-point lead for San Antonio. And Oklahoma City calling for a timeout. They need to figure something out, Brady. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Jeff, you look at Durant, who's won four scoring titles. He's now been an MVP. You're a coach. How do you defend this guy? Well, you know what? Most people try to defend with length. But I don't think length gives him as much problem as the Tony Allens of the world who try to get up under him. The thing that you worry about with that type of strategy, though, Mike, is 
He's such a great free throw shooter that you can't get fouls and get bad fouls in the penalty or you're just gifting him points. For the layup, knocks it down. And it's an 18 point lead for San Antonio. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Westbrook against Parker. Westbrook for two with a wide open shot. Can't get it to fall. Hey, look, they're getting blown out here in the second half. They haven't played well. But if they keep creating these wide open shots, it will pay dividends going down the stretch of this game and in the games coming up. Unable to flip it in. Westbrook against Parker. The screen is set. And he throws it down. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. Aldridge looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team. Aldridge fires yet again, and a nice finish at the basket. The assist from number two, Kawhi Leonard. Here's the perfect pick. Cantor draws the double. Oh, tough shot. Okay, now that's just lucky. No one makes a game plan based on forcing shots through double teams. That was just pure luck, and he got his wish granted. As we head to the fourth quarter, they put themselves in quite a hole. They'll need a near perfect quarter to pull this one out. Yeah, the, the fat lady may not be singing, but she's warming up. Unless they are going to get after it harder than they have so far, there's going to be no opportunity to work themselves back into this game. Cantor fires as the shot clock expires. Cantor's jump shot won't go. We're seeing some outstanding defensive work, forcing the offensive team into late shot clock shots, which are very low percentage. Gets the wide open look for three. The Spurs with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Nails it. 18 point lead for the Spurs. Durant bringing it up. Has to adjust. Nicely done. Oh, he got hit on the shot attempt. Couple of free throws coming up. Free throw, good. And fails to hit them both. Hits the first, misses the second. Finds his space and takes the wide open three. Nice adjustment, and Oklahoma City's called for the foul. Their first team foul. And Danny Green will go to the line with under two minutes to go here in the fourth. And he connects on the first free throw. throws. San Antonio's leading Oklahoma City by a score of 30 to 11. Cantor against Duncan. It's out of bounds.
Durant fires for three with one on the clock. Bang! Hits from downtown. Oklahoma City's one for five from long range. Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. Turns him away with the block. Duncan for two. Able to put it in. Tim Duncan with 10 points. Westbrook walks it across. Cantor's trying for position in the paint. At the rim, and Enos Cantor with a nice play. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. Duncan for another attempt, nails it. That's a two-pointer. And Tim Duncan with six points here in the fourth quarter. And that pretty much wraps it up. The rest of the game is a waste of my time. Slams it down. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer.